Hi, thanks for tuning in to this very short episode of the 01581 Let's Talk. I wanted to thank, take a moment to thank viewers um, for your participation on the other side of the screen, for tuning in uh, to the show and for providing feedback uh, to me throughout the year um, as to what you've enjoyed and what you'd like to see. Um, this has been a great year, the first year of the show that um, um, I launched in cooperation with Westboro TV and with the encouragement of many. Um, I do want to thank all of my guests, um, town staff, um, our legislators, private organizations and members of the community who have graciously given of their time and preparation to come here and be with us generally on a Tuesday to record the shows and to uh, share their uh, experience and uh, um, professionalism and, uh, and knowledge. I also want to thank the amazing team of Westboro TV. Uh, without them, none of this is possible. So Aiden, Tim, and Karen, you guys are awesome hearts. Um, thank you so much. Um, although we should work on kind of some of the editing. You can maybe make me look, I don't know, about, you know, 10 years younger, that would be kind of fun. We'll talk about that for 2024. And I want to thank my family for being super supportive of um, giving me the time to prepare and, and have this show. You know, when, we, when I launched this show back in March of 2023, I had a couple goals and, and really focused around um, ideas for content that I thought would benefit viewers. I wanted to provide uh, information of high interest around uh, kind of a circle of topics, uh, general government, hot topics, uh, schools and youth, sustainability, housing and housing affordability, our master plan implementation, providing legislative updates, and um, health and wellness, as well as um, matters of interest to our veterans. And I think we've, I, we, I always say we, um, <laughs> have uh, checked many of those boxes and um, I'm pretty proud of the 36 shows that collectively uh, we put together here at Westboro TV for you. So in 2024, the show goes on, as they say. Um, we'll, I'll continue uh, sort of generally the same areas of focus. I do hope to go a bit deeper. Um, where content allows and where it seems to be of, of interest. Uh, I would encourage anyone who's interested in submitting ideas, uh, whether it be guest, guest ideas or content ideas, my email is at the bottom of the screen and um, I welcome uh, your input and your ideas. But in 2024, we'll have a lot to talk about. Uh, we have the community center. Uh, our senior needs assessment will begin to be implemented in various ways. The master plan will continue its implementation and the work there. The library renovation, there's always talk about the budgets, uh, preparation for town meeting, capital projects and community investments, our elections, this is a big election year coming up, and building strong communities. We are a community of diverse views some that we hold strongly and debate, debate with the intensity. We have diverse experiences and unique personal histories. Some of us have deep roots and others, well, our roots are more recently planted. But the one thing that we all share is that we're part of this great community called Westboro. We all care about each other, our neighbors, neighbors we haven't met yet, um, but we care about the legacy of Westboro and we care about its future. And I hope that in 2024, this show allows you to connect further with the community and of topics that are of interest to you and that bring thoughtful conversation and allow you to become more engaged. So, cheers to 2023. Let's welcome in 2024 together. And I'll see you as we flip the calendar in January 2024. I also want to thank the amazing team of Westboro TV. Uh, without them, none of this is possible. So Aiden, Tim, and Karen, you guys are awesome hearts. 
Um, thank you so much. Um, although we should work on kind of some of the editing, you can maybe make me look, I don't know, about, you know, 10 years younger. That would be kind of fun.